Well hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making some thumbprint cookies on Jeff's baking blog. And for this I'm going to be using 260 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt which I'll put into the plain flour now, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two egg yolks, um, the zest of one lemon, that actually works out to about five grams, and 15 millilitres, one tablespoon of lemon juice. As well as that, I've got 125 grams of softened butter. And for the filling in the cookies, I'm going to try three different ones. You actually need about half to three quarters of a cup of some filling or other. I've got some raspberry jam, some marmalade, and some homemade lemon curd. And I'm going to try all three and see how they turn out. So the first thing to do is to put our softened butter into a mixer, or you can do this by hand, basically, or, or in a, um, with a hand mixer, that would be fine too. Basically, we want to cream the butter and the sugar together. And when we've got that creamed, I'm just going to, with a whisk, stir the quarter of a teaspoon of salt into the plain flour so we've got that ready. The next thing I'm going to do is to put our egg yolks into the butter and sugar and our vani vanilla extract and our lemon juice and the lemon zest. I'm going to mix that all together as well. I'll scrape down the sides of the bowl with a spatula so that it can mix properly. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add it all in one go. And starting the mixer off slowly, I'm going to mix the flour in until it's all come together. Okay, that's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is to make this easier to work with, I'm going to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes, maybe up to an hour, but at least 30 minutes. It just makes it easier because what I want to do is roll it into balls um, before putting the thumbprint in. And if it's too soft, it just gets a little bit messy.
So in order to refrigerate that, I'm actually going to put it back into the bowl that I had the flour in and cover it with some plastic wrap. That's it. So I'm going to cover that with some plastic film. And put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now while that's in the fridge, I'm going to line a couple of baking trays with some parchment paper and I'm going to preheat the oven to uh, 180 Celsius, that's 350 Fahrenheit. And then I'll be back with you and we'll roll these into balls and we'll get them cooking. Okay, so I've let the dough chill for about 30 minutes and I'm going to take a tablespoon each time and roll it into a ball and place it on the baking sheet Right, so I've got uh, 15, 25, 27. Um, they're not entirely even in size, but I don't think it's going to make too much difference. What I'm going to do is just coat the end of a spoon in some flour and then I'm going to make a hole in each one. Okay. So I've got my holes in each of them and what I'm going to do now is to just fill the holes with marmalade or raspberry or uh, raspberry jam or lemon curd. Uh, you may want to just use one. I'm, I'm just trying all three to see what they turn out like. Um, but I think about half to three quarters of a cup of either of them, any of them, will be good enough. So we'll just take a little bit of lemon curd and see if I can drip that in. Okay, so I've filled nine each of orange and tangerine marmalade, lemon curd and raspberry jam, seedless raspberry jam I'm using. So I'm going to put those in the oven for uh, 12 to 15 minutes until they're cooked 
and um, are starting to go golden brown. Then I'm going to take them out, let them cool on the uh, tray for a few minutes, then transfer them to a rack. Then I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, so I'm back with you now. The thumbprint cookies uh, have been out of the oven for quite a while and they've cooled down nicely. One of the marmalade ones uh, broke as I was picking it up, so I ate it. Um, so what I have is my lemon curd ones, and the lemon curd has set quite nicely, and they're cooked nicely underneath as well. And then the um, marmalade ones the same. And the jam ones have set nicely, the raspberry jam, just a little bit of jam, maybe I poked through a little bit too deep with the hole, but that's fine. So let's try one. Um, I've eaten the marmalade one already because it broke, so I'll try a lemon curd one. Um, I'll try this one. Mm. biscuit is just so short and crumbly, very, very delicate. And the lemon hit is just lovely, lovely. Mm. They are well worth trying, I can assure you. And as I said, I use three different flavors because I wanted to experiment. But if you have a particular flavor, um, you should go for that and uh, the biscuit itself is flavoured with lemon so lemon and raspberry go very well together so you could try those well that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video on YouTube and also click to subscribe to my YouTube channel that would be helpful um, there's also a link below the video to the recipe or you can click on the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen if you put the cursor over the, over the video and you can click there and you'll get a link to the recipe as well. So I'll be back with you um, in the very near future with another recipe so until then happy baking.